waiting Jesus. I anchor to the my own and firm foundation. Hello. How about? I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Can you hear the Can you hear the music from my background, right? Yeah, I had to turn on yeah. off mine. Oh, okay, so let's let's begin by saying a, a little word of prayer. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, come on, it's only for you. Yeah, I'll reduce it a bit. Yeah, you know the song. Yeah, sure. Yeah, from Mary City, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's say a word of prayer, right? So since you are my host, or who is the host here now? You are the host. I'm just a speaker. <laughs> hey, all right now. So let's start with a word of prayer from the host. So the we, host. Thank, we thank you. We thank you for the powerful opportunity to yet uh, have this kind of dialogue that is about the betterment of the life of as many who by privilege and grace, will be listening to us today. I pray one prayer, Lord, to you, Jesus, that as we get into this matter, you will help us to, to, to address intentional matter that troubles the heart of people. And people will yet find enlightenment. They will get inspired and they will get blessed in the end of the day. Amen. And one Amen. will transform and change for the better. Thank you. So Amen. Sure. In Jesus' name we pray. So, Ani... Do we need to introduce ourselves? Yes, yeah, so sure, please. Okay, let's do an introduction for our people then. Okay, I'll start with you, my guest. Okay, um, my name is Ochibo Anna Onyawole. Quite long, yeah. Onyawole. <laughs> so yeah. that's the O in between the name, right? Yeah, that's it. I'm okay. a model, a speaker, and a writer. Please so, yeah, say that out loud so that my people will hear you very well. <laughs> okay, I'm a model, a speaker, and a writer. So yeah, that's okay. It. Beautiful, beautiful. That's just an in definition. Uh, of course, she's a very ambitious person. Um, of course, my first time of meeting you on your live video on Facebook was one topic you were addressing that I was in a season of my life that needed that word. Okay, some way, somehow, you may not know how far this video really went, but. I started nurturing the ambition from there to really speak with you uh, on a very um, public ground like this. And I'm okay. excited about the opportunity to actually share, to actually have this conversation with you. And I do not take it for granted whatsoever. And I say thank you for having me. And thank you for, you know, doing the ask away. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's because true. It, was, it, was, it was the trigger point, right? Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, I couldn't say no. Yeah. And I could just, I could just see it. I could just see a lot of people giving comments and then I was like, oh. I just stood back. To be frank now, I stood back like, what should I even ask this girl now? Okay, okay. I started thinking, why well, I was thinking, it just came to my mind. Okay, this is, you should be it then. And then onwards, I believed and I strongly just knew that it was going to be important for us to have the conversation. Somewhere in my head, I just knew. And yeah. here we are on the, 20th, on the 20th of January having the topic on. So give us, what's our topic? What are we talking Journey to perfection. Journey I mean, um, to perfection. This is actually a very nice topic. When you told me about the topic, I was like, okay, 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 okay. It's something that is easily misinterpreted. Like, most people feel like, oh my God, I want to be perfect. Oh my God, this lady is perfect. Oh my God, she's got really nice physics. She knows how to talk. She knows how to address people. When she's out, this is who she is. This is how perfect her life is. Meanwhile, most people are actually battling with a lot of stuff that they don't talk about. Yeah. So now, if we want to talk about journey to perfection or through perfection, you need to understand the concept first. At least you get to know what is journey. How do you just pick up something you don't know about? Then what is perfection? Most people feel like, oh my God, I want to be perfect means I want to be above... Um, flaws i want to be above everything that looks like mistakes meanwhile you're human you can't be divine mm. most times you get to put yourself in that position whereby you get depressed because you're not attaining something you think you should attain at a particular time because you feel like you need to be perfect 
So yeah, I would start by mm. um, explaining what I understand by journey. I see journey mm. as an act of traveling from one place to another, okay. as easy as that. And then perfection mm. was gotten from the word perfect. And most people see mm. perfect as different things. I mean, you could see perfect as being without fault. Um, you can see perfect as being the best of your kind, you know. So then, what's perfection? Most times, dictionary explains it as um, being flawless, being without flaws, being, um, being the best of your kind, or getting mm -hmm. to that point where, mm -hmm. um, getting to that point where no one is able to attain the kind of success you've attained in a particular thing. Now, mm. if you ask me, can a person be perfect? I wouldn't tell you yes. I would not tell you no, to be honest with you. You can mm. be perfect in a particular task or a particular skill. No doubt. Mm. I could just literally sit down and then imagine myself being perfect in my work or I want to attain A in a particular subject. Do you understand? Mm. And then, yes, I mm. would do that because it's easy. It's a skill. Mm. I can decide, okay, I want to be perfect at what I do. I, okay, I'm, I'm an event planner, mm. for instance, and I want to be mm. equisite. I want to be someone who um, is above every other person in what I do. I would learn. Mm. So there's a process to all of these things. Mm. But being yeah. perfect yeah. all round, being perfect all round, or trying to be perfect all round might just give you nothing but depression. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you want to learn a skill, no doubt, just go yeah. learn a skill, work, be perfect work, at what you want work. to do. You you want to, <laughs> oh my God, I want to be the best architect in Lagos. No doubt. <laughs> I mean, go go ahead, but trying to be perfect all around when you're not divine, when you're mere human, hmm. brings about a lot of stuff. When you're not, that's the word. That's the word. Yeah, when, when you're mere human, when you're mere human. I want people to understand that we are hmm. humans. Most times we we extend our boundaries. We go we go past what we can do. Or um, I mean, there's no limit to what an individual can do. But sometimes we're under no, pressure. Not, not. Mm. We're under pressure because we feel like, oh my God, I'm supposed to achieve this thing at a particular time. There's a set at time, this time to do something. At this time, yeah. we're checking, and then your we're time checking. might not be the real time. Your time might not be God's time. For those who are Christians, your time might mm. not be God's time. To, for those who are Muslim, mm. your time might not be the time your maker or whoever you worship has destined you or planned it to be. Mm. So putting yourself under that pressure of being perfect to me is not nice. You are we'll actually lose a lot. Your, yes, what happens during that process where you come under the pressure of your circumstance? Because truth is, let's face it, right? Yeah. The human life was factored to go through a lot of circumstances, bad a circumstances. Yeah. It, it, is part of your, it is part of your journey, of every human being's journey, to experience rejection, to re experience exactly. everything that is evil about life. I mean, I used to say this, that evil is actually part of God's plan in making you who he wants you to be. True. It's a journey, right? It's a yeah, journey, you right? to go through certain things in order to learn. Mm. I mean, every point Thank of you. life comes with something. You're, you're trying to yeah. be great. You need to go through something, at least, so you can tell stories, even. Yeah. So you can tell yeah. someone who's yeah. struggling that, okay, I went through this path, so you're not the only person going through this path. Somebody will be motivated to even want to be great. Yes. Now, let me quote you there. Let me come in here. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Powerful definition of perfection you have there. And yeah. I think this is my definition of perfection you just explained in just some couple of sentences and a little 20 minutes, you've been able to do tremendous justice to what I would say will be, we will be building on. Okay. You just yeah. laid the foundation for everything we're going to be saying. And I don't intend to take much of your time. I don't know how long this live is going to be. And that's a sincere truth because I never inquired that from you, but as much yeah. as our data, I'll just, I'll just exhaust <laughs> what I have. Let me, let me start by saying this. Okay. Affection, like you said, has been notionalized by the average man to, to be a state of flawlessness. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And 
is it now true that we can attain that point? Very true, like you said in your quote one time, in, in your quote you sent to me. Yes and a no. And that's okay. just about the perfect answer, right? Yes. It's a yes and it's a no. And let me pick on what you said and build on it. Yeah, I'm sure. You see why it's a yes or no? And why I agree it's a yes or no is because when you see perfection from the human standpoint of view, you I will mean, never attain it. You will never attain it. Yeah, sure. Sure. But you see, this is the mystery about life. Do you know that, that there is no middle liner in the, at the peak of success? Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Now, true. you know true. what the peak of success is, right? And you know success is of different type, right? People consider a man successful, right? In that the level of his influence, right, over a the large society. amount of people who look up to him, yes, in the yeah. society, over a large amount of people who look up to him, is, is more fervent. So that's what people then call a successful man. A man who has so much influence on people, not just in terms of wealth now. Of course, yeah. it must have, by his expertise in trade and merchandising, he must have attained some level of wealth that will command people's followership of him. I don't forget me. Yeah, sure. So I'm just yeah, saying that's what one definition of success is. Just now, one this is branch. the second definition of success. Yeah, that's just one branch. The other definition of success is for you to come to the point where you know yourself. And this knowledge I speak about of yourself or of oneself is not the knowledge that was carved out by circumstance. Yeah. It's not it's like the a knowledge that. Action. Thank you. It's a knowledge of the fact that a man has come to a point where he knows that this is what God say I, I am. To do deliberate. Are you like eight days listening to me right now? Being a Christian listening to me right now, or being a Hindu listening to me right now, or a Muslim listening to me right now. The fact of life is one thing I'm about to share with us now. Is that there is an invincible reality behind every visible reality. Hmm, yeah. There is that everything visible what it is today and whether you agree less or not irregardless of your religion or your belief that being is called a deity a god yeah. some other whatever you worship whatever it is you worship okay becomes the one pioneers or determines your level of success and relevance within economy okay so you now get success right the theory of success is never itself. Nobody is, 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 nobody attains success self-made. Nobody is self-made a success. You are a success because you were influenced by somebody. You were, oh, see, the success story is always helped by either a human being or a deity. And more mm. proficiently and profound is that a deity must be involved in anything that must stand out in economy. A deity must be involved. That deity might be, and let me tell you the greatest deity that exists. Let's not go into the extreme part of talking about the Christian religion or the um, Muslim religion right now, right? The extreme part of being a deity, right? Our network is fluctuating. Are we together now? Can you hear me? Hmm. Yes, I can hear you. The network is poor right now. So, yeah. the extreme part of being a deity, right, is yeah. one's desire and conscious will to submit to something greater than him. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm just reading comments down. Now, I just saw, like, a lot. Thank you guys for following up to now. Yes. Cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Uh, thank you all for joining us. In. It's it's beautiful having you guys around. And then, like like of course, me and Anne has been on. It's all about you. The yeah, so live is all about you. Yes, yeah, so. it's all about you. And let your comments keep rolling Just in. Keep coming. And if as much question, as you can take them. Okay, okay. If there's a question, ah. you could just keep it rolling. Yeah, just put it there. We're going to go through it and answer it as much as we yes, can. We're going to but we're not going to deviate yeah. from the topic perfection and how to achieve perfection. Yeah. Okay, so I can see something. 
You cannot truly okay, define please, the okay. concept of perfection without knowing what imperfection is. Yeah, true. Life is seen from two prison, good and bad, true and false, black prison, and white, prison, yeah. and so on. Yin and mm. yang. Okay, okay, yeah, that's true. You can't, you can't really know what perfection is, is if you don't know what imperfection is. Sometimes I tell people, yeah. Um, yeah. don't try to be perfect. Try to act human mm. sometimes so you know what it is when you want to achieve more or achieve greatly. If mm. you have flaws, mm. it's human of you to have flaws. Try it's to work very on human, ma. Yeah, you, you don't you don't you don't work on what you don't know. You don't work on what you've not accepted or what you're not aware of. You need to know mm. that you're imperfect to even think about being perfect. The only Perfect. reason you're working on a skill is because you've already noticed that you're not good at it. You need to be better. Mm. So yeah, that craving yes, to be better yes, is what makes you perfect at that skill. Yes, can we now come into that matter? Let's come into that matter. Let's come into yeah. that journey now. Right now. I think it's high time. We set the basis enough, right? Yeah, yeah. We set true. the basis that we have established that success can only be called success if a deity is involved. And in order for you to attain perfection, right, in your journey, you have to understand what imperfection is. And you have yeah. to understand that it's humans to be imperfect. In fact, it is by default that we were made to be imperfect because imperfect. we need a deity yeah. to support us. Yeah. Yes. Until a deity is question, right? I always ask this question. If you want to yes, be perfect... Take for an instance, you've decided, okay, I want to be perfect. And let's say God help you or your deity helps you to be perfect. What next? Mm. What else do you strive for? Why are you living? What's the point yeah. of living? What else? So yeah, really, if you are perfect, what else? What else? Really, what else? So sometimes even <laughs> in this journey, while fighting for perfection, we should get to ask ourselves certain questions that keeps us in track. Mm. If Anna, if Anna becomes perfect, what else? Do I become? Uh, mm. I think when you become perfect and there's nothing else to do, you, you you just go back to being imperfect. Because I mean, I'm perfect. Everything about me aligns. What else? I'll just become arrogant. I, I'll yeah. be rude. Or maybe I just I just feel like, oh my God, I'm so perfect. Everything about me fits. Wherever I go to, people get to acknowledge the fact that I am there because I am perfect. It gives me perfect. room for something else. So, yeah, mm. if we want to outline um, journey, the journey through perfection, mm. I would like to say, number one, accept the fact that you are human and you're imperfect. What you don't accept, yeah. you can't work on. So, mm. yeah, number two, I would mm. say take a chance. Take a chance. When there is um, a battle, when there is um, a task ahead, when just, just take that chance. Do it, even if you fail. Failure is mm, part of this journey. Mm. Just, just take it. When there's an opportunity, just seize it. Mm. The first thing you should be thinking when there's an opportunity is, what mm. if I win? Mm. Mm. Don't even think about, oh my God, I'm already the winner. winner. Just ask yourself, what mm. if I win? You need to get to know mm. what um, you would do when you win and how you will feel when you lose. So when mm. it comes, it, will, it wouldn't be shocking. Enjoy every moment of everything. I do pageantry, so to understand, yes. I would be able to relate okay. to pageantry. Going to the camp, mm. you might just get to think about it. Oh, my God. Being the, um, the face of so-so-so might not be... It's not so bad. I mean, I'm going to be called queen. Wherever I go to, people will address me as a queen and my presence mm. will be noticed, okay? Mm. Then you need to ask yourself again, what if I am not given the crown? Will I feel too bad mm. that um, I might want to do something wrong? I tell people, when you go mm. for stuff, get to enjoy every bit of it so you don't regret it. If there's, yeah. Um, yeah, if, if you... I don't want to use the word fail, but if it's not given to you. Okay, so I'm saying yes, something. Ma. Contentment is key. People allow other people's conceptualization. Okay. And as you mm. end up in misery. Okay, yeah, that's Love your I appreciate it. Thank you for following. Yeah, thank you very much for following. Thank you so much. Yeah, 
just uh, get to accept the fact that you're human and act as one. Okay. Yes. Now, you, you, I think that's the first step. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Now, let me so add I, from my own. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Go. Go. On. Okay. Let me add. Let me add the second step. Now, after you must have accepted that you are human, then you need to realize and discover what you were created for. You call it purpose, right? Yeah. It's one thing to know that you are imperfect. And it's another thing to know what you are made perfect for. Because see, we were made by a perfect God, right? Yeah. We were all made by a perfect God, right? So it means perfection is attainable. It is. All it means is that the one who made us is perfect. Now, if that means, if that's the case, then it's an indication of the fact that Perfection is not just attainable, but it is only attainable when a man comes to this place of self-discovery. Yeah. Yeah, that brings you spoke about pageantry, right? Yes. You spoke about pageantry, right? You do pageantry yeah. and stuff, right? Yeah. You do pageants and stuff, right? Now, most, most people you go on this context with have different motives and intention, right? Different yeah, things true. that is, you know, moving them towards Drive, that yeah. desire. Yeah. What you cited something that is key is that you, you're not just going there just for pageantry sake. Yes, pageantry brought you there in that it's your passion and it's your drive, yeah. but enjoying it all the way. So you just at a point shut your eyes of the crown, just keep the crown aside. Aside, because yeah, and leave I realized, you. I realized that that notion of perfection we have. As a destination, yeah. because the, the average young person today, I'm speaking to young people, right? So it's good we address young people. The average yeah, young sure. person today believes that, believes that perfection is a destination. Perfection yeah. is a act. Yeah. Perfection is something I would do and get to. But they don't know that before you get to perfection, there is a process. And yeah, if you don't enjoy the process, when you get to perfection, just like you highlighted, you will go back to being imperfect. Yeah, because what do you do next? What do you do next? Because you, you need to know that everything that is created and that is seen now will always come to an end. True. This life is temporal as much as you see. You can, okay, those beautiful ladies we celebrate, celebrate 10 years ago. Do you know they are our grandmothers today? And some of them, if you see them, you will not even, you will not even believe, you will not believe this person was yeah, the was, top queen. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. So what, what actually are we holding on to? That image of being perfect, in itself it's not possible. In itself it's a mirage. In itself it's not substantial. What is substantial That's it. That's it. is you coming to the point where you know what you are made for. So even when you reach, you eat your 80s and your 100s, because of the knowledge of who you are, you are still perfect in and of yourself, knowing that you are doing what you are called to do. To do, yeah. And I think in and the next step, I haven't identified. Yeah, speak, speak, speak. Go on. Yeah, getting to know isn't even enough. You need to be ready to mm. do it. You need to love yourself in order to do it. Most people don't do certain things mm. because they feel inferior. They feel intimidated. I mean, if I come online and tell people this is it, how will people feel? Don't you think it's too much mm. to be out? Most people are just too scared <laughs> to bring it out. So getting to too know careful. is not enough. Yeah, too careful. That's the word. Getting to know is not enough. Coming out, bringing it out is what we want. And then I, I always... Thank you people, very much. You know certain things like this. Practice gratitude. You're who you are, not because, oh my God, you're, you're supposed to be this person. I'm Anna today, not because I'm, I sat down one day and then I imagined being Anna. I just saw Anna. And I had to accept Anna and be <clears throat> Anna. I got to know mm. Anna is not ordinary. So I had to act extraordinary. You need to know who you are. You need to accept and acknowledge who you are. It's a deliberate action. Don't just sit down Thank and you. imagine everything yes. would fall in Intentional. Intentional. That's it. And I always beg people, progress over perfection, please. Ah, uh, please. Most please, times, please, when please, you please. sit down and you just want to be perfect, you end up not doing anything. Try to make progress at every point. Try to make progress. You've already accepted it. Okay, what are you doing about it? Are you just sitting down to be perfect? 
most people you see outside is not because they are perfect. <laughs> it's because they've decided to take actions. So don't mm. just sit down. Take a deliberate action. Progress, progress, always positivity. Just tell people that this is it. Whenever somebody tries to talk you down of certain things or somebody tells you you can't achieve certain things, please try to focus on the positive side. Get to meet a positive person. Read positive books. Come online and check positive things about it. I mean, I use the Google more than I use WhatsApp. You mm. don't just tell me something and then I sit down and then I just imagine. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, no. I'm going Not to talk about just it. Take it hook line and thinker. No, yes. let's talk about it. Get to know. Somebody said, I believe part of the journey to perfection is bringing out the best version of yourself. That's it. That's the truth. That's bringing it. out the best vas it. version of yourself. Yeah. You need to because love man, yourself. Let me address that a little. Let me address that mm. a little. little right? Bringing yeah. out the best aspect of yourself. And you see that video you had, I think, two years ago. Yeah. Right? On yeah. Facebook. You see that I'm there in that video. It's no longer the and now. Yeah, true. Now, you must have done a lot of conscious and deliberate and intentional work to arrive at this you and now. True. But do you know, and whatever you will become a five years from now, though it's not known, right? We have not seen it. Our uh, network is poor. Sorry, the network is yeah. poor. Now, okay? Now, yeah, it's I don't know what I'm is going to be like 10 years from now or five years from now. But one thing I can be rest assured is that if Anne is diligent to work on herself, five years from now, she will not look like the Anne you know now. True. Now, it, it, that brings us down to decisions too. The, the intentional decisions and steps you decide to take will now define your five years from now or any moment from now. Yeah, any moment. So at every level, at every level, at every level, there is a new version of you that is required. That you need to unveil. So we have systems do upgrade. We have technology do upgrade. Exactly. We have institutions do upgrade. And then we have some group of people who allow circumstances, make them so stagnant, not to build on their self and come up with the latest version of themselves. Of themselves. I yeah, I love that. You, latest version. I was five years ago, never imagined to be on a live video like this, advising people. I can tell you practically. Okay? Mm. But over time, mm. as I began to, be, to build on being intentional about my life, I suddenly realized that there is a possibility in me to actually become a public person where I speak to people about public matters that will help their life and better my own um, um, life, life too. Yeah. Not so to I be think selfish, that right? Important. Not to be selfish. No, not to be selfish. Not and I think that because... is important. We will need a new version of us every step of the way. Every so in step, the yeah. perfection, in the journey of perfection, what will be required every time is that you, you show the world or you show to your circumstances the new version of you. The latest and you version. you cannot know what that version of you is, that current version of you is, if you don't do an intentional work. And I see this perfection thing you're talking about. Thank you very much. I see this perfection thing we are talking about there. Yeah. It's very important. Very. Because it's what defines life as much as we know what life is. Is it in the media world? Is it in, is it in the religious circle? Is it in um, art and science and whatever it is? Yeah. The man who comes any invention must ensure that invention has tested and gone through processes sufficient enough to be accepted by the public. Yeah, sure. Nobody sure. just put junk out there. There is always an intention for the junk you think you call junk. And yeah. just in case you want to know, ask the producer again to, to, to tell you what, what he has been done. Oh. Yeah. What has Sometimes been done? you see, people are not quick enough, right, to judge people. Because there is a part mm -hmm. of the mission of every man that even him himself cannot truly tell you. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Yeah, and do you know that you have tendencies currently inside of you? So many tendencies inside of you right now that even you are not aware of. Yeah. Yes. Now, you might, yeah, you might say you're not... You might be aware no. and you, you just have doubts. Good. Now, you see, you might come to a point where, like, I'm not a fornicator. I'm not a, I, I'm, I'm not a robber. I don't steal. Yeah. I don't tell lies. I don't cheat. I don't, I don't fraud people. Yeah. But you see, that's what you feel you are right now, right? 
Okay. Let us give a situation. Let a situation. Let a circumstance come that will shake you to see your tendency. Okay, for instance, let's keep you in a lady with a naked lady as a guy and see what your reaction after match will be. Then I'll really know who you are. Has it not occurred to you that there are some times where you do some things, it may be good or bad, and then yeah. you just retire and say, like, am I the one that did that thing? Yeah, you know, did I be... It to me that? once, right? <laughs> it was the time I was in school, during my institution days, right? Yeah. I was in school, and then there was a strange question that was asked by my lecturer, and then the whole class didn't know that question. Even me, myself, I know I didn't know that question. I know the answer I provided that day, it was right, but I never knew the answer prior before that time. I didn't study, I didn't study the answer anywhere. Our network is going, going bad again. Perfection is the updated, is to be updated at every situation. At okay, every you're back. Situation. Okay, you're back. All right. Thank you. So, so you get the point, right? And then, and then I, I, I was like, I answered that question that day. And then I was, I, after that day, I went back, you know, you know, from the interior, now you want to sustain your ego. Like, hey, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, so you give it, yeah. it, you it. Or you go back alone in your quiet where you do the real work and then realize that you didn't know where that solution you, just, you provided. You came out. Yeah, yeah. That's the truth, that you don't know what you are capable of. Desperate result, yeah. You really do not know what you are capable of until circumstances come that will shake you to see your tendencies. Okay, let me and define let me say this. Here. Go on, let go on, go on. Say, from all we've said, I would say life is what happens when you're making other plans. Mm. So, yeah, how you um, react to it now is who you are. Mm. Yes, so your it. current reaction, the way you view life right now is actually the definition of what it is. Yeah. And that's, and that's to a large extent the definition of who you are, your perception offering. That perception you have often. You know, if we have 20 people, if you teach 20 students A, B, C, D, yeah. right? Yeah. And you set a test for those 20 students. Somebody said something that blew my mind and it was in, of interest to me. He said there's no student that truly fails. Mm -hmm, true. There's no failure. To Everyone be views life from different perfect, perfect perspectives. Yeah. Everyone has a perspective of a matter. And this is my conclusion right on this issue before we move into other issues that may be necessary for us to consider is that mm. perfection is possible, yes, but this is how perfection is achieved. Is that you know your place of function and you fit in there perfectly. And I'll give this perfect analogy. Okay. This is the perfect analogy I give. You see our body system yeah. is made up of different organs, right? Yeah. Now, and each of these organs has different functions. True? Sure, yeah. But they make up who arm is, right? Yeah. Now, if the hand decided that today he wants to lose his head and wants to go and do the function of the leg, you see, the body can never be in a perfect state. Yeah, yeah. So then, perfection really means that you know what you are designed to do and you just glue there. And stay there perfectly. Not like, not like you highlighted earlier. Not trying to be perfect all round. Yeah. Find your purpose. Fit into yeah. that purpose perfectly. Walk and in, stay yeah. glued to it. To the point where you become yeah. one with who you are. Then you are said to be perfect. Perfection is only achieved when a man discovers his place of function. And stay there. Don't move. Stay there. Even if it means selling pure water. Stay there. Yeah, so if we want to round up everything we've said, would it's going to be that you can be perfect in a particular skill or task. You can be perfect in a particular thing you've decided to work on. But being all round mm. perfect, being divine instead of being a human is not possible. Don't stress it. Don't stress it. Just just free it. No pressure. This life is a journey. Just journey through it. Enjoy every process. Journey. Enjoy every bit. Through it. Enjoy every every bit of life. Don't mm. deprive yourself of certain things, certain enjoyment because you're trying to be perfect. 
no pressure progress over perfection now one more thing mm. full function of self hey. is consistency this is lovely mm. thank you so much for this this is lovely i like this this comment is up thank you very much yeah, this is can you pin it okay you pinned it right yeah that's it. great 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 so yeah that's <laughs> it progress over perfection every time all day any day please don't try to there's always something to do right there's always, there's always some, there's something, something, something to, do. to work on you must yeah, be always. up on your feet you know um um papa wedeko said something i respect so much of um living faith he said he said that no great man no great man sleeps at night I know I know I know you want to be reached that point where you just be sleeping and no no stress no hassle. Yeah, there are times where you want to rest. Yeah, you know. Yeah, there are times where you just really want to rest and you just want to enjoy yourself and go out and just keep yourself on 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 a cruise, you know? But real matters, right? Must first be addressed yeah. and that's based on that um contribution, consistency. Yeah. Every man that attained that level of perfection never stopped at doing something every single moment yeah they are always they were intentional walking doing it up and on and i think for our viewers out there this should be a good takeaway for for you yeah that whatever you're doing no matter how it is please be consistent, yeah, I, consistent. Urge I urge you no matter how insignificant it may look there is a quote that has kept me running over time and it has been the reason why i check my life every day and see what i am doing right or wrong the quote yeah. says that i don't know it's an anonymous, anonymous quote in that i don't know the the one who quoted yeah, but yeah, i know yeah. I, I saw the quote said something he said every step of the way you must understand the need for what to do as in as of now yeah. you are meant to up doing something and every step of the way you need to know what the next doing is so that yeah, you can be step. up doing. yeah because it is in your up and doing that you now build you now create an edge for yourself where people can say okay this is ans brand your yeah, friends 5 years ago my Yes. Yeah. Your friend 5 days ago may not have believed that you will be who you are now into pageantry True. and other stuff. True. And those times where you are at night cooking your brain trying to get your way out of the darkness and bring your no imagination. One knows. No one yeah. knows. There was no spotlight then. There was nobody giving you a crown then. You are the one crowning yourself. Yourself. Yeah, I so I get this need to perfection. Mm. Mentality affects what? reality. Your mindset affects your outcome. Whatever you put that should be here, pinned. That should be pinned. <laughs> whatever you put here is what you bring out. Once you, what you bring to see it, you can actualize it. You can so actualize you need to see it. it and then work on it, and then you are it. Uh, then yeah, you are it. So because whether you do or you don't do, you become something. Something, something. Whether something you hate or something you have worked on. <laughs> whichever it all depends whichever, on your something. doing yeah it depends so on your yes. doing so you now you are now and loving who you are yeah okay, you want to say something no 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 it's fine go okay now you are and doing what you do and people to an extent are trying to emulate you i'm trying to be like you i'm getting inspired by what you do and they love it but you yeah. see you and i know the things you do to arrive at this point and this is what we are dishing out to our viewers viewers if you're listening uh i know later after now we may need to have to still broadcast this video and then yeah. because it's a powerful time we broadcast yeah. it and then maybe in future dates people who might stumble on it might find help for their spirit and for their bodies and sure, for their life yeah, anytime okay don't yeah. stop at any point don't give in to your circumstances now let me highlight this very quickly circumstances was is always meant to be there now but you are on a journey know that you are yeah. on a journey and every circumstances that is bad the agenda is to sink your boat mm -hmm. okay but yeah. see, 
whatever it is they throw at you just to sink your boat with intention to sink your boat sink your boat don't allow it enter your boat to sink it allow it enter your boat to become a paddle yeah to take it to the next to take you yeah to the next level yeah that's it you get take mm. away the let the circumstances come and not being born with a, a silver spoon is one um rejection disappointment yeah. people feeling you can't fit in things. Feeling, feeling you can't fit in take all of those things and use them as a paddle rather than allowing it sink your boat because yeah. you must know you're on a journey and anything that happens around you you should see them as a tool whether good or bad tool to whether to, to yet be used to further you in this journey so take the insult take them take them look mad to them but whilst you are taking it, you you know you are using it to paddle your boat. Oh, oh he gets to connect. Oh, you're back. All right. I yes. think we've really dealt with this. But why they are insulting you? Like we have. Thank you very much. Yeah. So while they are beating like... and insulting and circumstances say no, you can't become this. Just use it and paddle your boat. Don't use it to sink yeah, your boat. Please. Again, That's like we it. highlighted, it's your perception, your perception, your mind. How did you put that the quote again? Perception of who you are. Mentality affects reality. Yes, it's your mentality about that situation. I can look at that insult and say, I don't, I, I choose not to be offended by the insult. Yeah, yes. And Rather, I, mean, I will use it. As it. To be true. So, just say, say, encourage us, encourage us. Let me allow you much time to encourage us, and then we call it a wrap up for today. Just encourage your people. Encourage everyone listening. Okay, so really, I'm really blessed to be part of this, to be honest. I didn't know we are going to stay this long on the live, but I mean, I've been really impacted personally. Most times, yeah, when I come out to talk, to be honest, I don't just help you. It helps me too. There are things you get to sit down and then think about, and you're like, I've not seen it from this angle before. I'm just seeing it. So I'm easily um, happy to be part of stuff like this because it helps me too. It's, it's for all of us, to be honest. When I say your mindset affects your reality, it's about what you see, what you focus on, how you perceive yourself to be. Now, it doesn't matter what people think about you. What you think about yourself to, should be paramount. It should be what you, you can easily look at and then you're convinced that this is who you're supposed to be. I mean, not everybody was born with a silver spoon, just like he said. Uh, most people just came into the world and with so many circumstances surrounding their birth, so many circumstances surrounding why they shouldn't even live. But you're in this world already. You're here already. Accept it and then move with the speed of light. Mm -hmm. You might be depressed. Mm -hmm. You might be going through stuffs. You might be going through a lot that you can't even tell people about. Look through it. Look beyond it. You can achieve whatever it is you place for yourself. Make yourself you can. know that you are limitless. You are the only Just limit to yourself. Yeah, you are. You are. Sorry, my network is poor. And I just know I can't my tell. network is very, very poor. Because, yeah, the network me. is. You're back. Okay. So maybe we can round up, right? Okay, let me say yes. this again. I do this always when I feel down, when I feel depressed, when I feel like things are not working the way I think they should. Because we are human. Sometimes we get to that point. I go to the mirror. I look at myself. There's a picture of myself I have on my mind. When I look at myself and then see how I'm trying to attack the situation, I remember the bigger picture. I remember what it is mm -hmm. I already have inside. And I'm like... Oh my God, you're not even supposed to do this. You know this is who you are. <laughs> Most mm. time I say I'm a queen and then people look at me and they're like, is it because of the crown? No, it's not because of the crown. A pride. They say it's pride. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a born queen. I came in as a queen. This is my territory. Yeah. Whatever it is I decide to do, it's yeah. my territory. And I'm a champion in my to this shit. Yeah, it's because I am a queen. It's because I know this is my territory. This is who I am. And my that's, me telling my my that's me telling my circumstances you can't do anything about it. Nothing, nothing. The, the only problem is the circumstances didn't know when they were giving birth to me. 
you know so it don't even affect me <laughs> so yeah that's on a lighter note thank you guys so much yeah thank that's you. actually on a lighter note yeah yeah thank you thank Aaron, you all so much thank you and i am so grateful i had a lot of conversations with what they saw well, let me say some very important thing now when some person saw the flyers and stuff i had a lot of contentions people called me and i just don't worry on a, on a private note we're going to talk about that but <laughs> okay. i really appreciate you yeah i really appreciate you for coming on this live with me and yeah. i would say it and i'll say it, uh i hope to have such conversations again in the future with you so okay so it's going to be and a better platform of course better platform yes we think that we're going to come out stronger and better after now better. and Always, thank yeah. you again Thank you for being a blessing to as many that will be listening to this. Uh, uh, are listening and will be listening. <laughs> yes, yeah, and pleasure, just keep be doing, keep doing you and um, like I said, I got to know you because of something you did. You may not know. Okay, so now it's your back. I got to, I got to know you based on something you did, and you may not know. That was the reason for the entire conversation yeah, we are having. Yeah, to be honest, I the didn't, entire follow up. I didn't know. I just, I, I was a bit yeah. bored that day, and I was like, I was going to go live on Facebook, and people were like, "Why? Why are you going live on Facebook?" And I'm like, I just have a topic, and I just want to talk about it. I mean, I'm bored. There's nothing doing in the house, so let's mm. just do something. And yeah, I came on like I was so happy because people were ready to talk about matters that were disturbing them. I mean, it. Mm, much less mm. terrible for me when you can easily Not tell pleasure. me this is it. Yeah, and and I can relate. No, for real. Yeah, I'm really grateful for this. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah. Our listeners, you are the reason. You are the reason. Yeah, yeah. Thank you yeah, for staying yeah. on. I can see Ezekiel. Ezekiel happened to be my brother. I can mm-hmm. see uh, that Good day. Talk. I can see. Talk. I mean, we can't get to call the names, right? Thank yeah. you all so much. You Thank are the you special guest so, here. So and we are grateful. Right. Me, on behalf of myself, I say thank you. And I know Anne too says. Yeah, I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm grateful. and yourself. Thank you. We'll meet on a lighter note. Just stay growing yeah. and stay in touch for now. Yeah. That's why. Bye. Thank you, Anne. Bye, bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I'll put my faith in Jesus.